Everybody be God bless you, friends. I pray that you're in the peace of God. I pray that you are in the refuge. I pray that you are in the secret place and you are experiencing the peace and the joy that comes from being in that place regardless of what is going on in the world. God wants to take us up higher in this day, friends, and it's an absolute imperative because if we don't, we're going to be taken out by the devil. The devil is angry because he knows his time is short. The devil is prowling like a roaring lion waiting to devour someone, friends, and many, many believers will be taken out if they do not get the oil, if they do not focus on Christ Jesus, if they do not clothe themselves from on high, because this is the hour, friends. This is the hour that tribulation and persecution and all kinds of turmoils are being poured out on the earth. And if we do not focus upon God, we will be taken off guard and we will be taken out by the devil. We will become a casualty of war. Friends, let us seek God right now. Let us seek God while he may be found in this hour and let us take our minds off of this world and focus them on Christ Jesus our Lord because this is the hour, friends. This is the hour that the global order is changing. There is a shift. There is a shift in the heavenly realm, a shift in the heavenly realm where the evil, evil, demonic forces are manifesting on the earth in this hour and they are causing they are causing friends a battle between powers a battle between powers a new world order against a another order friends and they will not stop there are no good guys in this battle. There are no good guys. There are no heroes in this battle, friends. And let us not be taken by the mainstream media narrative that pulls us into siding with one of the powers. Friends, let us not side with evil. Let us not side with evil. Let us only side with God. It's time, friends. God wants us to side with him. He's calling us. He's calling us to come alongside him and to be with him and to seek refuge and strength and power from him friends if we side with any power if we side with any natural earthly thoughts and ideas friends we are going to be sapped from the power and satan will take us out there is much deception going on in the world friends this propaganda that is being spewed out at the moment is possibly the worst kind because it's wartime because it's wartime propaganda Great trouble is being poured out on the earth, friends, and I said that in 2009 that we would see great trouble coming to Europe and it was time for us to get ready. That trouble is now here and it's coming and it's going to get a whole lot worse. Friends, this is not a negative message. This is a positive message, friends, because... So many people want to hope that the day is going to be better and they put their faith in a better day. So many believers don't allow their faith to mature to the point where they're trusting solely in God. So many people say it's going to get better, it's going to get better because they don't have the faith to go through the darkness. They don't have the faith to go through the darkness. God wants to take us, friends. He wants to take us through the darkness. He wants to take us into the battle, into the battle where we know nothing but Christ and he gives us the power to reign with him. Just like Stephen, friends, he was stoned to death, but he, he saw heaven, he saw heaven open. And Jesus there welcoming to receive him. Friends, this is the hour for us to come up, to come up higher, to come up into a place of total sanctuary with God. Total sanctuary with God, where we side with the righteousness that is from God, that we, we, we disregard the wickedness of this world. It's wicked, friends. It's wicked. Our global leaders are wicked. The institutions are wicked. They're totally corrupt. There is nothing redeemable in any of it. The health institutions have been taken by Big Pharma. They have been taken over by Big Pharma and they are being controlled. The globalists, friends, we are cannon fodder to the globalists. They don't care about us. It doesn't matter though, friends, because we're not with them. We're with God. We are citizens of a better country. 
We don't belong to this earth, friends. We don't belong to them. We belong to God. Let them do what they want to do. We are the righteousness of God, friends, and we, we will win. We have the victory. We have the victory over Satan in this hour. He wants to give us, friends, such, such strength of heart that comes only from him. It's a boldness that comes from him that enables us to go through the darkness, to go through what is coming next, friends. He wants to prepare us and he wants to give us the heart, the heart of, of a lion. He wants to give us the heart of total security where all we know is him, all we know is Christ Jesus. In this hour, friends, he's calling us. He's calling us. He's calling us to a higher place. He's calling us to a higher place. Let's come. Let's come, friends. Let's come alongside God in this hour and share our hearts with him and he will give us strength to take us through. No longer will we be hoping for a better day, but we will be totally solid and secure knowing that God will take us through the tribulation. He will take us over the waters of evil. He will take us over the waters of evil, friends. It's the only way for us to overcome in this life. God wants our faith to mature right now. He wants our faith to mature in this hour. And it, it, it happens naturally, friends. It happens naturally as we take ourselves away from the evil that is in this world and we focus on Jesus Christ and his righteousness. Friends, he's coming back. He's coming back and he will destroy this world. He will allow it to be destroyed by fire because he needs to create a new one. It's totally corrupt. There's nothing good in it. And justice is coming, friends, not in this life, not in this life. Let's not put our faith and our hope in justice in this life. There will be justice in the next. And the false prophet and the antichrist and all those who did evil, friends, will be thrown into the lake of fire. And all those, and all those who were with God will live and reign with him forever in total righteousness, in total truth. Friends, it's going to be a wonderful time. It's going to be a wonderful time where we rule and reign with Christ on the new earth. But in the meantime, friends, we must overcome. We must overcome. We must overcome and walk over serpents. Where we can drink deadly poison and it won't harm us. Where Deadly pestilence has no impact on us. Will we crush, will we crush the head of Satan with our heel? Friends, this is the day to come up higher, to live, to live in accordance with everything that he said in his word. And we will win, friends. We will overcome. We have already overcome. We've overcome the evil in this world. We've overcome the globalists. We've overcome that evil, evil plot. They're just covering up, friends. They're covering up the evil of the last two years. The war, a big distraction. Big distraction and to also take us into their great reset. But there is a battle raging because other powers are not wanting the same. They want control as well. They all want control of the world. Well, they can keep it, friends. They can keep this wicked, evil world because it's going. They can have it for a brief time, but we, who are with God, will live and reign in the new world forever friends let's remember that we're not citizens we're not citizens of this earth 
We don't belong here. We don't belong here. We belong with God. We are citizens of a new country. Hallelujah. Friends, a really big God bless you. I pray that you receive revelation today. I pray that your heart is renewed. That you let go of all of the pains and all of the disappointment and all of the sadness and any discouragement. Because he's here. He's here. He's here, friends. He's here to to overshadow you, to, to protect you and to carry you through and to feed you with his heavenly life so that you're not starved and you're not anxious and you're not depressed. He wants to touch us in this hour, friends, in such a deep way that we can go through the waters of tribulation just as Jesus walked on the storm. Hallelujah. A really big God bless you, friends. A really big God bless you. Love you always, and I think about you all the time, and I pray, I pray for you. I pray for you. I pray for you. God is with you. He will never, he will never let you down, friends. He said, I'll be with you forever, even until the end of the age. Friends, when you breathe your last, Jesus will come and he will take your beautiful soul. He will take your beautiful spirit to be with him forever. And you'll be given a new body and you will rejoice. You will rejoice and we will all rejoice together, friends, in the new Jerusalem. Hallelujah. I'll see you there. If I don't see you before... A really big God bless you, friends. Love you always. And I'll speak to you again another time. Bye-bye.